Although they look really cool, dendrites are a nuisance and can wreak havoc on a PWB, causing significant damage and failure. Stick around and I'll show you how dendrites are formed and what you can do to prevent them from being a pesky plague on your PWBs. So what exactly is a dendrite? Well, a dendrite is a form of electrochemical migration. These are commonly confused with tin whiskers or conductive anodic filament formations, or CAF, but they are distinct. And I'll talk about those in another video. If moisture is present on a circuit board between two traces that are biased, a pH gradient will establish itself between those, and metal ions will get stripped from one electrode and get plated onto the other. As the metal ions plate onto the surface, it starts to form this root-like structure and it appears to grow across the gap. As this process continues, it will continue to grow until it reaches the other side. Keep in mind though that these are tiny conductive paths that can carry current. In the best case scenario, this is going to be very annoying and cause leakage currents that will affect the functionality of your circuit. Most likely though, this conductive structure will cause a short in the electronics and cause a complete failure. Also, not only do you have to worry about the electronics failing, but in certain circumstances, if enough current flows, it can be a fire safety issue. This failure mechanism is scary because it's what we call a latent failure. What I mean by that is that it doesn't happen right away, but it happens after hours and hours of usage. What that means is that there's no test that we can do to directly see dendrites on the surface of the board because they don't exist yet. So what can we do? So consider how dendrites form. There needs to be moisture and there needs to be an electrical bias. Also, the presence of contamination on the surface can facilitate the growth of these dendrites. So I got the answer. The best way to prevent dendrites from forming is to just never turn on your electronics. There we go. We solved it, guys. We did it. You don't, you don't like that answer? Okay. Well, there are a couple other things we can do. The first thing we can do to prevent dendrites is to have a clean board. Any residues that we have on the surface can help facilitate those reactions and make them go faster, stripping metal ions from one electrode and plating them onto the other. There are tests that we can do, like SIR, surface insulation resistance, that can detect these leakage currents and kind of hint towards the presence of these dendrites starting to form. The next thing you can do is to use a conformal coating. Now the conformal coatings won't completely block the dendrites, but they will act as a good moisture and a diffusion barrier to those metal ions. Now a conformal coating won't completely block the dendrites, but it will act as a very good moisture barrier and diffusion barrier to these metal ions to prevent them from plating as fast. So in a nutshell, a dendrite is just a small metallic growth that grows between two traces on a PWB that are biased. And cleaning and coating can be the best way to help protect against these dendrites. If you like that video, make sure to hit the like button. Also, if you want to be notified of future episodes, make sure to click the bell icon and subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below or you can send an email to askdradam at kaizen.com. Thanks for watching and stay clean.